hello guys welcome to how to fix tech in this video guys we are going to fix this issue there was a problem resetting your PC no changes were made so if you are facing this issue in Windows 10 and 11 the steps will be same for both version so let's start without wasting our time guys so first of all I should suggest you why you are facing this issue so there are mainly one reason behind this error the Windows corruption inside your Windows it means that if the image and the file system has been corrupted on your windows so you are getting this issue and your window not let you to reset your pc so i will show how to troubleshoot this issue guys step by step so first of all we can try from the basics so you can simply open the cmd command prompt as admin and click on yes button when the prompt opens and you need to type this command guys I will give these command into my description box so this is this will all uh, you can see reagent this is the recovery environment it will first disable the recovery environment okay and then we will re-enable that now use your app arrow key and type only enable enable and hit enter now this process will refresh the setting related to the recovery environment R E means recovery environment and let it run and it will enable once it is enabled you can try to reset your PC okay it should successfully now so you can try to reset your PC now and try if it fix the issue or not but I have seen this doesn't fix the issue only this one is for the you know uh, you need to identify that the recovery environment should be enabled so you can try here sfc space slash scan now this will repair the windows corruption if any and this will reach to 100% and it will give you last warning if it has fixed the issue or unable to fix the issue if SFC is unable to fix the issue guys so we can hit this command restore health command this will also resolve the bad corruption of image of your windows and this will also go to 100% make sure you restarted your system after one by one the sfc command and the disk command the process will look like this and will go to 100% also and if somehow these commands are not working and unable to fix the issue guys it means that uh, the sources file has been corrupted from your windows locally it has corrupted and it has bad image and you are unable to reset your PC so we have last option for you guys is to simply go to the windows and we need to type here windows 10 ISO file we need to download that okay and simply you can go to the first link and download media creation tool for windows 10 and for windows 11 you can simply windows 11 iso so basically we will repair our windows with the help of iso file since these are fresh files and there is no corruption in it now you will see here create window installation media and you will see here download window disk on image so select this option guys click on download select the version multi edition download it will validate choose your language ok I am looking for the English United States ok confirm and simply 64 bit choose that and it will start downloading it may take time but you need to wait guys since you are going to reset the PC so make sure you have enough patience 
so you can see it is going to almost 30 minutes depending on your internet speed and for windows 11 uh, windows 10 you can run the media creation tool directly from here like this yes and we are going to make the ISO file here now with the help of media creation tool and you will see here getting a few things ready I'm just guiding you since I have already downloaded Windows 11 and 10 ISO you can see Windows 10 ISO I have okay inside the and for Windows 11 I have already the ISO file of Windows 11 so you can see here Windows 11 ISO so it's going to take some time guys so let's wait for some time few minutes or the seconds okay accept terms and conditions simply just wait here again now we need to select second option here since we are going to download the ISO not the upgrade this PC now select as it is default and we need to choose here ISO file here okay so click on next here now it's going to ask you the location so select desktop windows 10 ISO and click on save so once it is saved it will be downloaded to the desktop here so once it is downloaded guys you just need to double click on it I'm cancelling the process since I have already downloaded that okay so once you have downloaded the ISO you just need to double click on that in order to mount that click on open okay now it has been mounted in the D drive you can see here so we need to double click on the mounted click on yes okay it is going to run now we just need to open it with the right click and open select and open it so now it's open now it is going to run so let's wait okay yes so now in here guys we need to go to the sources folder and in here guys if you are in the sources folder we need to look for the install.vim file or install.est so let me look here okay short by and we can choose more options type size okay we can look for the size here now you can see install.vim and boot.vim so we need to look for this guys install.vim uh, this is the folder which we wanted okay and you if you are seeing this option like install.esd so we will take the help of this fresh image to repair our windows and make sure you select the correct file here install.vim so this is our source path guys just copy this and this is the command here now so you need to replace this command with this okay just paste it here like this d sources install dot and in my case it is vim wim wim okay you can see here the file extensions so this will repair the now we need to just copy this okay the command will be same restore health and this time we need to paste this command here so this is this will be the command guys in your case if you are mounted in the other another drive the sources will be different but command will be same like this and we need to hit enter now now this time guys this will not restore the 
image from the locally this will take help from the source and the D drive and it is also going to take some time guys so you need to just wait here and once it is done here you can see it is going to the same way but source file is the install.vim which we have taken from fresh ISO and I'm pretty sure guys if you follow this method and once it is done 100% I'm pretty sure you are able to reset your PC so now it is 55% guys and I should repeat this if you have install.est file check and make sure it should be like it will be almost 4 gigabytes almost make sure it will be the largest file inside your system install.vim you can see here almost 4 5 GB here and the second one is boot.vim so leave the boot.vim and look for install.vim or install.esd both are same and you can change the command accordingly here so I'm giving this command into my description box so don't worry about that you can change it accordingly now you can see guys it has done and restore operation completed successfully now you need to restart your system guys and again go to this pan and reset this PC or you can go to the recovery environment hold the shift key and then click on restart ok and simply restart your system and you will go to the recovery environment advanced options and reset from there since many services don't run when we shut down or restart our system and after that I'm pretty sure guys you are able to do the reset of your windows so hope this helps you guys if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech